Hello. It's now clear that you can't believe a word coming out of China. Supposedly, the first case was detected in Wuhan on the 12th of December, but a Hong Kong newspaper claims that officials knew of it nearly a month earlier. China informed the World Health Organization only on the 31st of December. On 6th of January, they rejected a request by the Center for Disease Control to send experts. By then, Wuhan had already clumsily punished 10 doctors for raising the issue. Some media claim that Hubei Province Health Board ordered laboratories to stop testing the virus and to destroy all samples. And throughout the New Year festivities, people continued to gather and planes continued to fly in and out of Wuhan, spreading the virus to the rest of the world. China's statistics on the disease informed global research, including the Imperial College modelling that shocked Britain into its own lockdown. But now it's clear that the figures were a fantasy, many times below the experience of other countries. Initially, cases were reported only if victims displayed a range of symptoms, including pneumonia, and had recently visited a Wuhan market. Now there are reports that the number of relatives turning up at morgues outstrips the death st statistics many times over. And reports of local officials saying that they dare not report the true figures because they would be stripped of their jobs, imprisoned or even executed. That's entirely plausible and exactly what you expect under communism, where central authority is maintained by force and intimidation and truth, unfortunately, comes second.